guys, it's Kathy. Welcome to my channel. Um, this obviously has been scraped off. I've spritzed it with a lot of water. <clears throat> it's a uh, pour I did yesterday that did not dry well. So I scraped everything in the middle and tried to do something with it, but it was the paint was too thick, um, even with me adding Floetrol to the mix. So um, I've scraped it off as best I could, and I'm going to do, I'm not sure what you call it, a, uh, you put the colors down and you put Floetrol mix over it and blow it out and come up with some interesting shapes and designs. So um, I haven't thought about it much because uh, I was hoping this would have dried well, but it did not. So let's see, what do I want to do? Well, when in doubt, start with white. So I'm going to put some white up here. This is all a big experiment. <laughs> so um, so bear with me. I'm just uh, kind of having fun and going with the flow. Let's see. Um, these are all leftover paints, of course, and I will list what colors these are down below. I know some of this is a quinacridone nickel as a gold mixed with some treasure uh, treasure gold fire opal and there's 24k gold a lot of gold in there um, and how about some red these are mostly the colors I used in the last pour. Uh, I did not have red. I'm sorry, I did not have the deep turquoise in there before. Um, okay, let's... Just add a little more here for a flow extender. Oh, I got white next to the red. Eh, don't want pink. Uh, well, too late now. So anyway, this will act as a flow extender. Maybe I'll put that. Uh, this is not actually black, although it looks black. It is black mixed with Prussian blue. And this one has a little bit of uh, thaler blue as well. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. It's making some cool little tendrils here, though. I'm using this little uh, mini blower. It has a cool setting. But I think I'm going to put
Sorry, I had somebody walk in and I had to turn the uh, the uh, recording off. So I've added a few more colors in here. It's kind of fun. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going with it. So, a lot of blowing out on the on the hair dryer there. Um, this is kind of cool. I don't pink is not my favorite color, and there's a big splash of pink that uh, it's the white and red that I I added next to each other by mistake. But there it is. It's not so bad. It's just a, another color. Maybe adds a little more interest. Um. <laughs> funny little lightning bolt thing in here. I love how all this black is making these cool little tendrils coming out. Uh, looks like a fire and darkness here and then here's a blue sky behind it and some light coming out of a, <laughs> a cloud blowing up or something. I don't really know what to tell you about it but uh, it's really pretty. Uh, definitely very abstract. I don't like this. Um, I'll tweak that a little bit. Uh, not quite sure how to do it, but I should run my fingers through it. Sometimes that blends it nicely. <clears throat> uh, this or, or a skewer or a palette knife is maybe going to do more of a line. And with this type of uh, Dutch blowout, I'd rather it blend. And I do like these little sharp lines coming out. They're very cool. Um, hmm. Well, I've done several times in this, you could see where I messed up and I, I touched the hair dryer to it and had to add more paint or I put paint on with a, a stir stick and moved it aside and then had little lightning bolts all over and had to fix that. So as you go along with the painting, <laughs> a lot of paintings, uh, not necessarily a, a chaos Dutch pour like this, that happens. Um, you just have to go with the flow here. And today I had nothing in mind other than to get rid of the mess that I had on my canvas that didn't work out from yesterday. And I thought I'd like to try this technique again even though I didn't actually follow the usual technique, well, with the flow troll on top. I do like to do more of those. Okay, well, for now, I don't know, I might add a few more tweaking. I think this looks a little better, a little more incorporated with the rest of this blowout. Let me bring you down for a close-up flyby. Okay, so here this is. This is a 16 by 20 canvas, by the way. I think that's my favorite part. 
even with that pink in there. And look at all this, looks like Dante's Inferno through here. Envision little dancing devils reaching up to the light, getting burned in the process. I'm not quite sure how that works, but it's a good story. <laughs> anyway, and I do like having, always like having a focal point of some kind. And that white area right there does add more of the focal point. That's where your eye goes. Everything is pointing to it. So there it is, uh, whatever it is. Anyway, I hope this one dries well. Uh, if it does, I will see you in a minute with the dry results. Thanks for joining okay. me. So here this is all dry. It's about been dry, drying for three days. It is not varnished yet. It turned out really pretty well, I think. It's like a wild storm in the sky of some kind. Dante's Inferno down below here. I love how the uh, that bright blue looks against the gold and the red and copper. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Hope you like it. It was fun to do. It took a while. It was just impromptu. Uh, doing something over a field pour, so remember to never give up. Thanks so much for joining me. You guys take care, be well, be happy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.